Well, we have Jackie Durkin with us, Chief Inspector of uh, Criminal Justice in Northern Ireland. She joins us in the studio. Great to have you on Evening Extra today. Good um, evening. Um, well, well, we'll get on to the remand figure because that's the one that stands out compared to what's happening elsewhere in the UK. Uh, 50% higher. For, first of all, I mean, for your money, why do you think that is? I know Naomi Long gave a couple of suggestions there as to why that might be the case. I think there's a number of reasons, uh, but I think the problem in Northern Ireland is alternatives to a remand in custody. So things like the use of electronic tagging or the availability of bail hostels, where you have people who may have been given bail, but they have no address to go to. So they're either homeless or they can't go back to their home because of might be for reasons of their offending. So it's providing viable, alternative and safe options to your remand in custody and we don't have those in Northern Ireland. Uh, Naomi Long also talking about how that's a difficult population to manage as well in terms of, of, of prisons. Uh, and she talked about the, the court process uh, and speeding that up because you'd certainly say a, a backlog in our courts, which we certainly had post covid I, I'm not sure what the what the backlog is like now, but that would certainly make the remand situation even worse. Mm. Well, the last figures that I looked at, there was certainly over 600 cases outstanding in the Crown Court. Now, not all of those will be for defendants who are remanded in custody. So speeding up justice is a thorny issue that has been a problem in the criminal justice system for decades. Um, and it's finding solutions that work to make sure that cases are ready to come before the courts. That starts from the very outset, from a quality police investigation through to a prosecution uh, case that's ready to go to trial. And of course, defence, who are quite entitled to get disclosure, to seek the views of their client on whether they want to plead guilty or not guilty, and to get a case you know, to trial and, and ready to have an outcome, whether that outcome is a prison sentence or not. But we know that the remand population includes a lot of people who are coming through the door on a frequent basis. So they may uh, come before the court, get bail, but can't perfect their bail. So they can't meet the conditions of bail uh, they may apply for high court bail, they may go out on bail and reoffend and come back in again a very short space of time. So there is a lot of churn in terms of admissions. The, the prison service would deal with around 3,000 admissions through their doors every day and that in itself creates a lot of resource for the prison service to deal with. So it, it is about, and our criminal justice inspections uh, report that we published in January 2023 made a number of recommendations about what we believed needed to happen in Northern Ireland in terms of reform of legislation and a consolidated bail act and looking at alternatives to uh, what was in place already, looking at bail hostels, looking at electronic tagging, looking at other uh, things that might be put creative in place. Thinking really around it. Pardon? A bit of creative thinking really. Around. Well, a bit of solution focus and we know there's been a number of recommendations and I think even listening to you know, other contributors to you know Radio Ulster today, everybody's very clear about the complex issues that there are there's not so much action in terms of implementing recommendations that we know could make a difference and improve things. It is a, a balancing act though too, isn't it? Because obviously when it comes to bail and when it comes to remand, judges have to weigh up, you know, the protection of witnesses, the the chance that somebody may reoffend, the fact that you are innocent until proven guilty in a, in a court of law. I mean, there there's quite a lot to weigh up. I just wonder how you think th that can be approached w within the criminal justice system. Well, they're absolutely under the law as a presumption of bail, but there's also, uh, you know, an absolute need to protect the public in those cases where that is required. But judges will be informed in their decision making by what they're being told by the police and by the prosecution and as a person suitable for bail. So they absolutely have to weigh up a number of issues and information from a number of sources about whether an individual is a suitable person to be allowed bail and what conditions can be put in place. And as I've said, what judges need are alternatives, viable alternatives to your remand in custody. And that includes measures like you know, being able to comply with, with stringent conditions, whether that's reporting, whether that's being electronically tagged, whether it's about making sure that someone lives where they say they're going to, 
to live um, and making sure that there isn't that churn of people coming in and out of prison on a, on a regular basis and contributing to that high remand prison population. So as, as it stands, it, is remand the, the easier option sometimes because of the lack of alternatives that, that you've outlined this evening? I think it's not an effective criminal justice system where you have people who can serve time on remand and decide at the last minute um, whether they're going to plead guilty or not guilty or if they're sentenced, their time served. I don't think that's what victims and witnesses you know, deserve in, in staying um, true to the case and being available to give their evidence and then someone is does their time on remand and then is released um, back into the community again. But as we've heard, short sentences don't work. We've known for years it don't work, but there has to be alternatives and that includes community sentencing or um, restorative justice programs or an alternative to giving somebody a short prison sentence. Just finally, you know, we, we've seen the headlines in England and Wales and the emergency measures being taken because of overcrowding in prisons. We've seen the warnings about uh, the same potentially happening in the Republic in terms of overcrowding. Should today what we're talking about and the number of people in our prisons on remand, should that come as a warning to the authorities that by not addressing this issue in particular, that we will be going down that same path of overcrowding? Well, recruiting more prison officers and prison staff is in many ways a short-term fix. The longer-term objectives here needs to be around, uh, as we've recommended in our 2023 report, it needs to be around looking at the legislation and, and we need a stable legislator to do that. So we need an assembly in place who is interested in looking at a reform bail act, at, look, at looking at alternatives to remand, but absolutely not compromising public safety. Jackie, thank you so much for coming into the studio. Jackie Durkin, Chief Inspector of Criminal Justice Northern Ireland. Uh, we will be returning to this story after five o'clock and there is more on the BBC News NI website.